Hey everybody, it's Molly Cameron. Normally I send an email out on a Monday to all my sponsors and supporters, updating them on our race results and the happenings of uh, the Point S Nokian team. I figured I would whip up a quick video because not everybody's going to have the bandwidth to read paragraphs upon paragraphs of words from me. So, number one, I've been doing nothing but policy work for the last six weeks, and I woke up last Monday pretty exhausted. Um, realized that I needed to find some balance. It's a really important time, and the fight is really crazy right now, and it just seems like stuff's happening really fast and heavy. Uh, but it's also allowed me to really dive in hard, and I have made really fantastic connections with uh, people and organizations on the ground in the LGBTQ and BIPOC communities. So, two, I'll be heading to Northwest Arkansas here in a couple weeks. I'm going to try to tie in a bike race, obviously, because I am a bike racer. And uh, it's going to be pretty sweet because I'm really trying to use cycling. Uh, let's see. Am I using cycling as the vehicle to drive a message? Or is it just that I'm representing cycling and I'm going down there to say, Hey, Arkansas. I'm not from Arkansas, but I am from the South. I grew up Southern Baptist, and, uh, you know, my dad was born in Arkansas, so I have some roots there, but I am from cycling, and I am a part of the LGBTQ community, so I want to hear what you have to say. Uh, let's see. Three. I'm pretty hyped. This As things are moving, obviously the weather's getting nicer all over. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, Multnomah County here, uh, I'm in Portland, Oregon right now, just shut down. So I went back into the gym to start prepping for cycle cross season. And then the next day, gyms and restaurants shut back down. So it's kind of a roller coaster. We're still in a pandemic. I'm not asking any of my athletes or any of the women on my team or anybody to go and do any races or do any travel if they don't feel comfortable or don't have the vaccine yet. So it's it's still so so tricky. I know you know you know there hasn't been a lot of you know uh, there we there haven't been a lot of races to go to around here, and it's been you know it's been it's been touch and go. So the first thing's kind of coming up. I've I've kind of been asked if I can make it down to Emporia, Kansas, for Unbound Gravel, which I think is really important not only to be present at the biggest gravel event. Don't take offense to other gravel events, but one of the biggest gravel events in the world. But also because Kansas is another state where there is anti-LGBTQ uh, legislation that's been passed into law. So I think it's going to be important to be at some of these events. So I'm going to try my damnedest to get down to um, Emporia for unbound uh and it's just basically once we get into june it just seems like everything starts happening tulsa tough is the following weekends so that's a usa crits race and you know i've been in touch with basically every organization and almost every business uh that's not a cycling brand that has ties to cycling because i'm here for this work and i'm here to educate and hopefully inspire and bring these brands and these dollars to the table to go hey we really do one to bring everybody into our sport and we want to lift everybody up. So that's the brief update. Basically, I'm here in Portland, you know, I've just started training. I know a lot of the women on the team are training and we're trying to figure out when it's safe and I mean just, you know, when we can race and not feel conflicted or feel like we're going to, you know, get the vac uh get yeah, get COVID. So, I'm going to shut the hell up. We're going on three and a half minutes. Um, thank you so much. Wheels are in motion. I'm really hyped about getting back to creating, a, you know, shooting a bunch of photos and video. I'm looking forward to being at events, but I want to do it in a way that's safe and ethical. And I also am really trying to put, you know, the LGBTQ struggle front and center right now. So call me. I said it before. Call me. If there's somebody I need to talk to, whether it's a brand or an organization, um, whether it's in cycling or not, because the main thing here is cycling is just one sport and these bills and laws are going to affect children and families in every scholastic sport. So thanks again. I'll keep posting content and keep this stuff out there, but I'm hyped. I've got some energy back after riding my bike a little bit this weekend, and uh, I have a hell of a lot of work to do before I can win a national title, but I'm back in the game, and I'm going to try to strike a little better balance than I have in the last month and a half. Um, yeah, but thank you for all your support, and I will shut the hell up now.